Welcome back to DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. In today's news, Steve Jobs' biopic will premiere at Sundance. iTunes opens up for 56 more countries. Lumia 920 sales are reportedly soaring. Jelly Bean is released for AT&T Galaxy S3 owners. And Cut the Ropes developers release a new game. The Steve Jobs biopic, aptly titled Jobs, will be premiering at the Sundance Film Festival in Utah next month. The movie will be closing the festival January 27th and cover Jobs' life between 1971 to 2000, including the creation of Apple, his messy departure as CEO in the late 1980s, and his return to Apple in the mid-90s. Starring that 70s show's Aston Kutcher as the leading role, the film will also feature Josh Gad from the Book of Mormon as Steve Wozniak. Last week, iTunes got a huge makeover with the release of iTunes 11, and now the service just received an even bigger update. The iTunes Music Store has reportedly expanded to an impressive 56 more countries, including Russia, India, Turkey, and South Africa. The opportunity will give residents of Russia, Turkey, Indonesia, and India access to music, apps, and movies, while the remaining 52 countries will have access to just the music and apps for the time being. The update brings iTunes and its grasp to a massive 119 countries. Nokia is saying its latest flagship Windows Phone 8 device, the Nokia 920, is selling out and running out of stock. Research into Nokia's supply chain reveal the smartphone is now the third best-selling smartphone on AT&T, and it's currently experiencing a shortage in supply. While sales continue to remain strong for the phone, analysts are unsure whether or not the Lumia 920 will continue to sell this well in the coming months. The Nokia Lumia 920 is one of several phones currently featuring Microsoft's latest Windows Phone 8 OS. The Android 4.1 Jelly Bean update has been released to Samsung Galaxy S3 owners on AT&T. The update comes after both Sprint and T-Mobile previously released their Jelly Bean updates to the device. Verizon Wireless has yet to make any announcements. The update is a massive 738 megabytes in size and includes enhancements such as Google Now and Project Butter. Fans of the addictive mobile game Cut the Rope will now have a new offering to consider. Created by the same developer, Zeptolab, they've unveiled Pudding Monsters, a puzzle adventure that puts players in the role of tiny blobs that have to stick together to form larger puddings and rescue friends from the evil beyonds inside their refrigerator. Pudding Monsters comes two years after Cut the Rope first premiered in the App Store, the latter garnering more than 250 million downloads and counting. Putting Monsters will be available December 20th on both iOS and Android. That does it for DT Daily. Check back with Digital Trends later today to find out why you should think twice before turning on Facebook's Photo Sync feature. Thanks for watching.